guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we will be doing an introduction to consecutive integers. Consecutive integers are integers that follow each other in a patterned order. For example, 1, 2, 3, and 4 are consecutive integers. When we have consecutive integers in Algebra 1, it also consists of variables. The first example here we have is the sum of two consecutive integers. Since we don't know what the two consecutive integers are, we will be using a variable. For example, the variable x. It says we have two consecutive integers, therefore we're going to have a first and a second. The first will have to equal a variable, and as we said, we could use the variable x. The second is going to be x plus 1. Why? Because they're consecutive integers, and consecutive integers go in a patterned order. So unless it says even or odd, which is what we have in the third and fourth examples, we will just simply do x and x plus 1. This is how we're going to set up for the sum of two consecutive integers. The second one is as the sum of three consecutive integers. Therefore, we will have first, second, and third. The first will have to be a variable. Let's say that this time we're using the variable n. We will have n, n plus 1, and n plus 2. This shows the sum of three consecutive integers. The third example and the fourth example involve even and odd. So the third one says three even consecutive integers. Three even consecutive integers means that instead of just going by one, so as in the first and second example we were going, we were increasing by one each time, which was a pattern order. However, this one says even, and we know even numbers to be two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. As you can see, there's a gap of 2 between these even numbers. So 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, and 8, 8, plus, 8 plus 2 is 10, and so forth. Therefore, when we set up our first, second, and third consecutive integers, they will have a gap of 2 as well. Therefore, we're going to have first, second, and third. The first is going to stay the same as the variable. Let's say we're using the variable m. The second, instead of being m plus 1, will be m plus 2. And the third one will be m plus four, uh, 4, because it has to add by 2's. Now let's go ahead and do our final example, which is the sum of 4 odd consecutive integers. When we have odd numbers, let's say we're using 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, so forth, we see that these also have a gap of 2 between each of these. Therefore, we're going to have, since there are 4, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4 equals, the first one will stay the same as a variable. Let's say we're using the variable h. The second one will be h plus 2. The third will be h plus 4. And the fourth will be h plus 6. Since there is a gap of 2, we're going to keep adding by 2. This is the introduction to consecutive integers. In our upcoming video, we will be learning how to apply these consecutive integers to word problems. So make sure you watch that video, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!